everybody. Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> children have dinner with us last night one very good reason they weren't home oh uh, yes too busy uh, i knew you'd bring this up remember when you were young our family had dinner together every night and boy could you eat <laughs> i guess families have different values today what are you talking about the last two times i was here it was only you and I for dinner. That's two nights out of how many? Oh, why so defensive? Because my family eats dinner together all the time. Mm, if you say so. You don't believe me, do you? Oh, it's okay. The times have changed. What time is Mom picking you up tonight? Oh, around six. Great. It just so happens that tonight we're having a traditional Bindleby family dinner. Well, you don't have to prove anything to me. It's like when you were eight and I said you couldn't eat oh. that whole box of prunes. You had trouble sitting for a week. Uh -huh. Thanks for the heads up, by the way. I thought you knew what they were. Dad, I was eight. And thanks to those prunes, I almost didn't see nine. Listen, if you want to try to have family dinner tonight, I think that's great. But I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, you wouldn't, huh? I would. How about a friendly little wager? If we do have a family dinner tonight, you agree that from now on, when you visit, we'll take morning walks instead of morning runs. <laughs> What's the matter, Dad? Afraid you might lose? And... What if you can't get your family together tonight? Then I will treat you to dinner at the Seafood Grotto. Son, you have a deal. That deal? <laughs> now, come on. We need to run another mile. Lobster with butter sauce can really put on the pound. My dad is the most competitive man on the planet. Ugh. So, did Lester make you do wind sprints with the medicine ball again? I would have preferred it. What did my father-in-law do now? He thinks our family's not devoted enough to have dinner together every night. He said that? No, but he implied it. Well, he has a point. I mean, we're all so busy. You don't think we can do it either. Arthur, I'm just saying that we are very busy. We both have full-time jobs and the kids with school and all their activities. Sometimes we don't have time to eat together. They got to you too, huh? Who are they? They are the naysayers. Those who say nay rather than yay. Anyway, I told Dad that tonight we're having an old-fashioned Bindleby family dinner. I have that book signing tonight. Can we do it tomorrow? Oh, good. No, Dad's leaving tonight. Well, what's the difference if he's here or not? I want to show him that we're not too busy to have dinner together. Besides, I love when we gather around the table and talk about our day. It is more than just a meal. It's about the family being together. I love it too, but tonight we are too busy. And I won't be home to do the cooking. It's okay. I'll make dinner. Your famous chicken surprise. The surprise will be if you can actually make it. <laughs> Prepare to be surprised. All right. The recipe's in the box on the counter. You've been warned. What are you looking for? Where's your blender? I need to make my daily energy shake. Now, don't fill up on King Biloba. I'm cooking Norma's famous chicken surprise tonight. Oh, I'm impressed. You sure you can make it? <laughs> With my eyes closed. 98.5 is giving away tickets and backstage passes to the Jordan Carter concert tonight. No way. Last night, I had a dream I went on a date with Jordan. He picked me up in his limo, and when he dropped me off, he proposed to me. Girl, I've had that dream every night for the past year. Trust me, it doesn't come true. Maybe not for you, but I know I'll get together with Jordan. And why, why is that? that? Because I had a dream five months ago that I'd win tickets and backstage passes to meet Jordan. Now, how's that different from my dream? You had some random date dream. Mine was about this contest. Yeah, well, mine was last night. And plus, we got married in it. No, you didn't. He asked you to marry him. If anything, you two got engaged. Ever heard of symbolism? 
In a dream, getting engaged is just as good as getting married. You two can dream and symbolize till the cows come home. If anyone's marrying him, it's me. And why is that? Because I got style. Oh, oh please, girl, not with that wish. kind of shirt. Uh -uh. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, good morning Dr. Dr. Vendelby. Hi, Dad. What's going on? We are having an old-fashioned family dinner tonight with Grandma and Grandpa. Mom has to work late, and I need you home by 3 to help get things together. Okay. I'll help. Thanks, sweetie. Oh, and Angie, I expect to be invited to your next wedding. So I was cruising, man, down the hill on my board, and out of nowhere, this tool tries to cut me off. I slapped the board down on all four wheels and ollied up this cut and just kept rolling nice and smooth. Wow, you must be really good. I love to not a skateboard. I'll give you a lesson. What about before the dance, Friday night? Yeah, boarding's great. You skateboard too? All the time. A bunch of us are boarding to the dance. You could come along if you want. I've seen you a skateboard. More like wipeout. Is that your board in the locker room? The one with the wave on it? Yeah, that's it. I thought so. My little sister got one just like it for her birthday. Mm -hmm. Well, she could ride better than you. Well, I don't know about your sister, but I could thrash you any day. Care to prove it? Name the place and time. 3 p.m. Today, the skate park. I'm there. Roy. Oh, hey, Dad. We are having an old-fashioned family dinner tonight. I, I need you home at 3 to help out. Today? Can't Angie help? Yes. Oh, okay, good. And you can help her. I'll see you at 3. I just wanted to tell you how much I admire your work. Uh, my dear, there is far too much honey in this tea. I know you've grown accustomed to all these children's books here, but I am not Winnie the Pooh. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Boyle. I only put one spoon of honey just like you asked. A teaspoon or a tablespoon? A tablespoon? Uh, that's where you went wrong. You see, tea should never be overwhelmed by honey. What a mess. I'm going to save Arthur a big plumbing bill. Uh-oh, somebody's in trouble. Well, hello, son. I wasn't expecting anyone until later. I can tell. Oh, what, this? Well, it appears that the Baker Boy pasta chips I mixed in with my energy shake formed a pretty stubborn sludge in the pipes here. But not to worry. I fixed many a clogged pipe in my day. Have you ever tried fixing just one? Listen, why don't you just call the dinner off and do it some other time? I mean, what's one more night? Oh, I see what's going on here. What do you mean? Oh, I think you know. Catherine, doesn't Mommy keep a recipe box on the counter here? Oh, do you mean that stuff that was next to the stove? Oh, I moved it all when I started with the sink. Where'd you move it to? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I need the recipe for Norma's chicken surprise, Dad. I thought you said you could make it with your eyes closed. Yes, but not with my drain closed. Tickets for free at three. This is DJ DJ J's. Cover 98 gets to see and meet Jordan Carter tonight. Come on, Sky, I gotta get home. Now. Shh. Is this DJ DJ J's? My name is Sky. Am I calling 98? Oh my gosh. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Trick for trick. After you. Fake you grind into a hang-up hand plank. Yeah, right, right. Hey, Lydia, I'll teach you this move on Friday night. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong, Bindo Bop? Can't hack it? Your little sister taught me that. You're not going to believe what my dad did. My days of shock are over. <laughs> He's trying to sabotage our dinner tonight. He wouldn't do that. Then why did he disconnect our kitchen sink? Oh, um, 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 Norma, uh, could you please bring me an ice pack? My hand is in pain. I find too many books. Really? My pain is elsewhere. And dad also misplaced your recipe box. What do I need to make your chicken surprise? Norma, dear. How is that ice coming? Uh, hold on, I'll write it down. Do you know how to cook? Yes. Last night, I made dinner for Mr. Bummy. We had his favorites. Spaghetti, ice cream, and chocolate pie, and soup. And for dessert, we have more 
ice cream. Okay, you're in charge of dessert. Okay, but I think we're out of dessert. Time, so I need your help. I'm really good at helping in the supermarket. Mommy says I have a sixth sense for it, but I don't feel sick. Oh, no, no, honey, she means sixth sense. That's what I said. No, no, no. sixth, not sick. Mm. 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 I'll work it out later. But first, let's take a look at Mom's recipe. Ooh, looks like we've got our work cut out for us. Shopper, start your engines! Catherine, I need you to grab four tomatoes and two lemons. Four plus two is six. Which is exactly what time we have to eat. Let's go! Be careful, Daddy! The floor is wet! Hold tight! Dinner duty, too? Yes, sir. Meatloaf. And there's the finish line! You have sage in there? Sage? Do I need that for meatloaf? Yes! At least half a tablespoon. You can grab some right over there. Quick! are less only. Hey, thanks for the sage advice. <laughs> What's going on? My hands started cramping up. Thought I'd put on the radio while I took a break. Did you really think I'd give up this easily? This sink malfunction is just another obstacle, but not to worry. I have my kids to help me. Angie! Roy! Come on down to the kitchen. They're not home yet. Didn't you tell them about the dinner? Of course I did, Dad. Yeah, those kids wouldn't miss this dinner for the world. Gotta make a phone call. Who are you calling? The Seafood Grotto. I want to find out about tonight's specials. You're not gonna win this bet. And there they go. The three gorgeous winners of the Jordan Carter Contest. <laughs> Okay, Roy, I'm gonna ice you right here. Yeah? Well, you couldn't ice me with ice. Oh, that was amazing. Your turn, Spindle Beat. Fine now. So, Lydia, what time should I skate by on Friday night? Let's see. How about a quarter past never? Huh? Roy, you want to come over for dinner? Dinner? Oh, no, I have to go home. Oh, I just thought we could... No, it's just that I promised my dad I'll be home two hours ago. See you later. Stilling pain. Look, I can't even pick up my cup of tea. There, you see what I mean? Dear Norma, uh, can you come over and wipe this up? I'm sorry, Mr. Boyle, but I'm not your maid. I have a very important family dinner tonight, so please clean up your mess and sign the remainder of your books. Chicken surprise. Uh, aren't those chicken surprise? <laughs> Look who's here. Something smells absolutely delicious. Don't tell me. Norma's chicken surprise. No, no. Arthur's chicken surprise. Grandma! I'll take your coat, Grandma. 
I'm the hostess at the Bendelby Bistro tonight. Oh, a cuter hostess I've never seen. Oh, where's the rest of the family? That's what I've been wondering. They'll be here any moment. You see, Mother, when my family makes a commitment, we keep it. your dreams again. You better not. I had one about you and Russell from homeroom. Listen closely. It'll happen on a Thursday. You'll drop your pen exactly two seconds after the first period bell. Let him pick it up. What's wrong, Angie? I promised my dad I'll be home at three to help him make dinner. And it's almost six. A limousine is taking you to meet Jordan. It's your dream come true. Even if Jordan does propose, I'll be grounded on our honeymoon. Look, I gotta go. What it looked like, mate. Excuse me. Excuse me. I told this girl in my class about our dinner tonight. Her name is Carrie. She said her parents named her that because her mommy carried her in her belly until she was born. <laughs> That's sweet, dear. She said her family always eat dinner in different rooms, and her daddy's always late. Tardiness seems to be a symptom of the times. Remember, Louise, if the kids weren't home at exactly 6 p.m., someone would be sitting on the porch till supper was finished. I also remember not liking that practice. <laughs> <laughs> what you never knew, Dad, was that while we were on the porch, Mom would sneak us out a plate of food. When did you do this? Honey, if there wasn't a night where you didn't unbuckle your belt and nod off at the table, I wouldn't have been able to feed my children a decent meal. Grandpa would sleep at the table? Sometimes my dolls sleep at the table, but it's okay, because they're not real people. Grandpa would dream at the table. <sighs> I like potatoes. <laughs> I may have fallen asleep at the table, but at least my family was there to see it. What I mean to say is, where's Norma? Where's Angie? Where's Roy? Maybe you're right, Dad. It's almost 6.30 and no one's even home yet. Say something, Lester. What? I told you so. I'm so sorry I'm late, but you are not going to believe what a jerk H.W. Boyle is. I totally put him in his place, that pompous blowhard. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I just met Jordan Carter. I'm so sorry I didn't help. I'm going to the dance with Lydia Robbins. I'm sorry I was late for dinner. Now we can have an old-fashioned family dinner. How about some potatoes, Dad? I love potatoes. Raisins in Grandpa's mouth? How about prunes? Lester, wake up, honey. What? 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 I like potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I like, Dad? Brisk morning walks. Mm-hmm. Hey, Dad, I was wondering, what kind of flower do you get for a girl on a first date? Well, on our first date, I bought your mother one bright red rose. Mm-mm. Pink, that's right. Mm -mm. Yellow. Mm -mm. White. You remembered. Son, I just want to say that you made an excellent dinner. Great food, good conversation. Good job, son. Thank you, Dad. Next time, you can cook and I'll break the sink. Next time one of your students acts up, don't give them a detention. Make them do a report on this book. What are you reading? Arthur Bindlebeef, is that one of my cookbooks? Hmm. This was a great dinner, wasn't it? Yes, it was, and it was great to have the family together. I was thinking, I'd like to make dinner more often, get all the kids involved next time, and give you a chance to relax or change. Oh, I like the sound of that. Well, I like the sound of you saying, I like the sound of that now. <laughs> How would you like to kiss the cook? <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.